everyone and welcome. This is Alex here of Advice by Alex and to find out much more about me and how to book a session with me, I will leave all that information in the description box below. And if you too would like to get a personalized reading with me, you can visit me on my Etsy shop at Advice by Alex. And also, if you like this channel, I ask that you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that way you get all the future uploads of all the videos as well and if you can give this video a thumbs up as that way it helps with the analytics of YouTube and things like that. So we are going to get started here for the day and uh, we are going to be doing a weekly angelic message video for July 9th through the 16th. If you can believe that we're going into July already, the middle of July. So that is absolutely fantastic. So. Now let's go ahead and clear the energy. Uh, but first we're going to light our candle. And we're going to be asking to be surrounded in God's white light. And uh, calling on Archangel Michael to help us and to surround us uh, for protection as well. And we ask that this candle send healing to everyone. And so it is. Amen. So you may notice that it's a orange candle, so that will be helping us with uh, healing as well. Um, also in association with the sacral chakra. So, alrighty. So let us go ahead and clear the energy. So, we're going to ask that, we'll ask that all negative energy go into the white light of God for healing and transmutation. We only ask for love, peace, joy, and happiness in this home, and uh, your home as well. We ask that anything that is no longer serving us be uh, cleared and go into the light. You guys can have some beautiful healing as well. I'm going to surround myself <laughs> with some sage. like I'm gonna have to eat some lunch after I do all this because <laughs> I'm I can tell my tummy is hungry <laughs> um, also I did want to mention the fact that uh, the music in the background is 852 HZ love frequency raise your energy vibration deep meditation of healing tones so that is where that is at and we'll start clearing the cards here.
just wanted to clear the pendulum. It is a clear quartz pendulum, by the way. You can see how pretty that is. Gorgeous. I got it at a fair, metaphysical fair. It just called to me. So that is where that was. So we're going to go ahead and put this out. Alrighty. Okay. So we'll get started here with the reading. All right. So we're, we're going to first use the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. And we get, shall get started with the messages. All righty. So what does everybody need to know? What does everybody need to know for the week of July 9th through the 16th? 2023. Okay, interesting that one came out. And that is understandable. Interesting that what well, they always come out together. So the first card here is that we have, which is a very interesting spread, by the way, um, is that we have a strengthening bond. So I feel like this is all about us strengthening our connections with those that are around us and things like that. So I feel like we're going to be uh, really just uh, getting closer with those that are around us And allowing ourselves to lower our guard and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. So allowing ourselves to lower the guard and to be able to um, connect with others emotionally on a emotional level from this week and things like that. So, and I feel like it's going to help us to be able to uh, see things from a different perspective and to be able to see things a little bit more clearly if we've been um, on the fence about things and things like that. So, uh, I feel like this is a week of reconnecting. So, um, that is re really re what this week is really all about, is reconnecting uh, and things like that. So, don't be surprised if people from your past may come back, even though that usually happens during Mercury Retrograde. Um, don't be surprised if it will happen this week. Uh, so the next card here is that we have is Share to Love, which is all about self-love, give and take of love, um, having compassion toward other people. Um, I, <coughs> I definitely do feel like this is all about honesty. Um, I feel like it's all about allowing ourselves to be honest with ourselves and with others as well. Um, so I think this, I feel that this is a week of uh, maybe having a conversation with others that you've been holding back to have that conversation. Um, so that is there and things like that. Um, that is definitely there. And Archangel Chamuel is very much coming through and helping um, with um, our connections for this week and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, the next card here that we have is Simply Love. So, again, self-care, self-love, having compassion. Um, and I feel like this is all about heart healing for this week. So, really diving into the heart, matters of the heart. <laughs> um, 
So that is absolutely fantastic. And then this is a very much Archangel Raphael as well. So Archangel Chamuel and Archangel Raphael are with us uh, for this week and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. So the next card here that we have is Joy and Stability. I feel like this will be leading to a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. So um, keep up the good work with maintaining your joy and stability uh, for this week and things like that. So yay on that front. Good job, everybody. So that is absolutely fantastic. So the next card here that we have is new vitality. So I feel like for this week, we're going to have a new, uh, basically like a fresh renewal of energy for this week. So I feel like this is where we're going to be getting into our creative side a little bit for this week um, and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Uh, new vitality, new joy, new happiness. Sounds like an absolutely fantastic week. But the overall cards here is that we have is the sacral chakra. So again, <laughs> working on our sacral chakra um, will help bring about creativity, compassion, the intimacy uh, between everyone and things like that, um, and allowing our hearts to be open to allowing that in our lives and things like that, knowing that it is okay to have that in our lives and things like that, and not letting fear get in the way of that. So the next card here that we have is release. So I feel like this is all about releasing past. So I feel like in the midst of all this good stuff that we're having for this week of connecting with others, I feel like it'll there there at some point will bring about some triggers uh, within us that we'll have to recognize and we'll be able to heal and to be able to work through and to be able to let go. So that'll help to be able to raise our vibration as well and things like that. So every time that we release things, we raise our vibration, we change our energy, and we are able to attract new into our lives. So and then it's important to be able to release what is no longer serving us for the greatest and higher good. So that is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely positively adore it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we will be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. So we shall see what is in store. So what is the, what does everybody need to know for the week of July 9th through the 16th? July 9th through the 16th, 2023. Wow, I really have to like bend down here. So we got two hot cards that came out. Hopper. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, then we got a new card that I have never drawn before. How exciting. Wow. We've had that card before. Okay, we'll I'll take that one. Interesting that a card came up again. Okay. All right, so we have quite a few cards that were hoppers, so we'll just get into it here. So first card that we have is the Eight of Pentacles, and it is learning all that you can about a subject or a career going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail, skill work that you love. So I feel like a part of this is finding uh, passion or renewal, compassion or passion uh, in uh, your career or work area and things like that. And I definitely feel like this is all about um, like a chance, a learning opportunity for this week. Um, of some sort. Um, and of course, uh, going back to school for some of us as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. So we've been having this card or the theme of people going back to school for either further, furthering their education or continuing education. 
So um, that is absolutely fantastic. So the next list that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical, practical about how you proceed, a love of art and beautiful, a beauty, <clears throat> a, sensual, a sensible approach. So I cannot talk today apparently, so I apologize. So this is all about listening to your intuition in regard to taking the next step. So um, it's all about listening from within, um, having the confidence within yourself. I mean, she's very confident in what she's doing as the leader and things like that. Um, she just has to look at things from all different sorts of angles before she proceeds uh, into what she wants and things like that. So, and as long as she remains grounded, she will be able to move forward as well. So, the next card here that we have is the Knight of Chalices. Awesome card that fits with the theme of the week. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, be swept off of your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that made your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. So, I feel like this is a good week that people will <laughs> connect and... Uh, I feel like this is the start of a relationship for some of people and things like that for this week. So that is absolutely fantastic. I'd love to see this card. Beautiful uh, pouring of love and things like that for this week. So absolutely fantastic. Couldn't have had a better card for myself. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is next. Financial security for yourself and your home, in inheritance or retirement, peace of contentment in life, honoring family tra traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. So it's either you being a mentor for other people or uh, having a mentor for yourself, and also that financial stability for this week and things like that, knowing that things will be okay. I also feel like uh, for some of you, it's all about uh, purchasing a home as well. So I feel like some of you have been looking for a home as well in that regard. So knowing that it will come about with the right home. So the next card here is that we have is the nine of... I will say wands, but I'm not 100% sure with this card. Um, but it's unfounded fear, um, expecting the worst, thus create creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation, sleepless nights, refocus. Oh, it's the swords. I'm sorry. The nine of swords. Hmm. <laughs> I, did, I did not look properly at that card. Um, and refocus your thought. So it's not allowing yourself to think on the negative of a situation, but thinking uh, of the positive. So I feel like a lot of us uh, tend to try to self-sabotage what is good uh, because of the fear of the what is of if something were to go bad or south. Um, and that's the way that we are guarded. So it's all about letting go of your guard uh, for this week and allowing the opportunities uh, to be able to come to us and allowing uh, yourself to open up to others that are around you. So that is basically what this week is all about. So the next card here is that we have is justice. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of the situation. Remember this card? It's very similar in that line. Um, you will win if your position is one of integrity. So I feel like justice will be coming about and karma will be repaying itself. So and if those of you that are in court right now, uh, I feel like you'll have a good chance in that manner as well. So. Um, a good card to have for the week as well. And it's also about like clearing away old karma and things like that. So next is that we have is the Three of Wands. Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next and things like that. So this is all about making choices to help with the abundance factor things are moving forward in a direction 
you have the power to manifest your desires and things like that. So, um, start that manifesting and things like that. So, I know we talked about that house, and if you are in a place where you're looking for a house, manifest the um, right house and things like that. So that was the bonus card that came out of that. Um, so the overall card here is that we have is the Queen of Wands. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Okay? So this is all about having that proper balance. Yes, we can uh, do the hard work, but don't forget to take the rest and vacation as well. So maybe make some time with all that abundance that will be coming in, coming in to go on vacation and things like that. It's well deserved for yourself. Um, be able to rebalance yourself and things like that um, and recharge the batteries as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Last but not least here is that we have is the Four of Wands. And then so much to celebrate, send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you, peace and contentment in your personal life. So this is all about us having that peace from within, knowing that this will be a fantastic week and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. Oot, oot, oot. I love it. So it's absolutely amazing. So um, let us go in here to the Soul Journey Lessons card and see what our lessons are for this week. So what does everybody need to know for the lessons for this week? What does everybody need to know? Okay, that one wanted to come out. Makes understandably so. Okay, so the first card here that we have is blame. I accept re responsibility for my well being. So, this is all about not blaming other people, not blaming yourself for anything that, that happened that you feel like you did wrong and things like that, knowing that it's just a lesson out of the situation and things like that. Um, and as knowing that it's all about an opportunity to forgive yourself uh, for what you feel like you did wrong and things like that. So, and then it's an important lesson to not to put blame on your others, but also not to put blame on yourself. So, and when people put all the blame on other people, they forget that there's two sides <laughs> to the issue and that you can also contribute to the issue. So, allowing yourself to take the accountability as well. So, the next card here is worry. Letting go of worry, letting go of fear. Um, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So, uh, um, worry is an illusion. So, it's all about us um, not seeing things clearly and not allowing ourselves to see things clearly because of past uh, things that may have happened to us. So it's important to be allowing ourselves in the present to be able to go with the flow and not to that worry and take hold of us and that as that is part of the ego and things like that. So the next lesson here is that we have is loneliness. Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone knowing that your spiritual team is never never alone but also the fact that it's important to learn happiness from within. So it could also be a week of happiness, finding happiness uh, for yourself as well. So, and no one can find, fulfill that happiness, only you can find the happiness from within. So that brings us to the end of the reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading and things like that. And until next time, everybody, if you would like a personalized angel reading with me, you can visit my Etsy shop at Advice by Alex uh, to get your own uh, information that you need uh, and things like that. Um, and until next time, everybody, um, God bless you. Angel blessings. I will talk with you very soon. Bye, everybody.